Hey guys, it's Shauna with Just Try To Be Nice. This is a video on my home management binder to go version. Now you've already seen my home management binder cleaning and you've already seen my home management binder cooking. Now this is my home manager binder that I can take with me because both of those are big and they're full of information and I don't actually take that information anywhere with me. So I've got my home management binder here on my on my little dresser desk thing. And I'm going to show you, like, this is a, it's just a simple sketchbook that I got at Dollar, at a Walmart for $4.99. It's like, art, sketch, artist something, I can't remember. And this is, I use it so much. This cover's fallen off. And this is a card that my husband got me for Mother's Day or anniversary or something. And I really liked it. And it's got, like, hard elements of it. So I took the card. This is the front of the card and then this is the back of the card and there was a cute little note in there too but I took a picture of it and I'm good and then this was from a card that my mother-in-law gave me and it also has an element to it that I like and then there's some Grateful Dead hippie bears there used to be a purple one here but she got murdered uh, because I'm a hippie at heart and I always like to remember that so there you go and then you flip it open and you've got this is from another book that I got I got it at um Kind of Value Village, which is a thrift store here in Charlotte, and they sell books like this, old planners, for 80 cents. 80 cents. Now, this was a planner from, like, 1989 or something. It was, it was an older planner. But, you know, when it comes to, like, this page, and then the page that has, like, your address, and the page that has all your information, and then, like, your contacts and stuff... It really doesn't matter if it's from 1987 because contacts and phone numbers and maps and note pages and stuff like that, they don't matter. So what I'll do is I'll buy one of those things for 80 cents. I'll take that little spiral thing in the middle of it right out. I'll take the pages I want to use and I'll take the ones I don't and I'll get rid of it. I do it all the time. Um, so that's where that came from. This is just a little picture. I love Doctor Who. I love, love, love Doctor Who. Here. That's how much I love Doctor Who. That's my mirror that I look at every single day. So, you know, just in case you're curious about my true love for the Doctor, it's real. So, I love Doctor Who, and this is a note, because I hate Mondays, and this is a joke, and I love K-9. K-9 is my favorite Doctor Who, and he's old school Doctor Who. You see these people now, but you don't see K-9 anymore. So, that's why I like this one. And then this is a picture of me and my girls, and this was the last day that I had them before they started school. And then this is just a cute little saying that I like to keep in here because it's basically saying that no matter how funny things get in your life, it's going to be okay because everything works out for the best. So then I've just got some notes and I like to draw little things on my planner pages. So I have a bunch of little birds and stuff. I have a bunch of them. They're all over the place. And then this is just notes. And here, I'm going to show something to you. This is really important when you do one of these. This is really important. This did not come with this. As you can see, this was from a different spiral notebook. See these pages right here? They come from a different spiral notebook. But I want them in this book. So all you have to do, it's the easiest thing. It was one of the first things I learned when I started doing my Bible when I was like 16. All you have to do is take a piece of scotch tape. See? Can you see that? All that is is scotch tape. You put a piece of scotch tape right here. This one's falling off a lot. That's why it comes off so easy. You put a piece of scotch tape right there. Then you come back here. And then you put another piece of scotch tape right here. And then this whole thing is now stuck to this one page. One page. This one page of the planner is holding all these other pages. So I like to do that a lot because if you'll see, I use a lot of these um, these chore sheets that I've picked, that I've uh, printed out. And then I have a lot of to-do lists that I print out. And then there's a lot of these Cambridge sheets, which if you've seen my home management binder, or my home management videos, either one of the other two, then you'll recognize this sheet. It's this Cambridge Limited. Oh my gosh, this is the best notebook paper I've ever seen in my whole life. And this is actually an original. This is not a copy. Although I have hundreds of copies of this. They're all blank on the back side. They're, this one's double-sided. And then there's a little to-do weekly flip out that's in there too. And this is taped up here at the top and then taped right here. As you can see, it's taped right there. And then it's part of the book. So I do that a lot. And uh, let me take you back to the beginning. And then, so we'll start here. 
well, let's see. This is a, we'll start, we'll, we'll do this last week. This was from like two weeks ago. And this is price matching. And these are the items that were on sale. And this is how much I wanted to price match them for. And because I do a lot of my price matching at Walmart and you price match. So this is the Target and this is the phone number at Target because I needed to call about the Colgate. I needed to make sure of the price on that. So I put that there. And then now I have the number for Target in my book if I need it again. And there's the Harris Teeter, although I already have Harris Teeter's number programmed in my phone because I found $50 and I turned it in and they kept my number, like they kept my name and they kept calling me, do you want this money? Nobody claimed it. So I've programmed it in my phone. Um, and then there's Food Lion and then these are all just the things that were on sale at Food Lion. That was from January 15th to January 21st. Wow, this is a little older than a couple weeks. It's like a couple months. And then... Um, there's another number for Kmart. This is Kmart down the road because Walmart will price match to Kmart. And then these are, this is a pocket for my coupons. And as you can see, this is a meal deal thing from Harris Teeter. Harris Teeter does these, this meal deal. I did a video on the meal deals a couple weeks ago. I love the Harris Teeter meal deals. And this meal deal, for instance, it was $9. It came with grilled chicken, yeast rolls, salad, spinach, and juice. I mean, that's a pretty dang good meal and $9.99. So, I mean, if you do the math on that, this thing is usually $5.99. These are $3.49. This is $3.79. This is maybe $2.50 at the cheapest. And then this is, you know, $4.49. $3.79 to $4.49, depending on where you go. So, I mean, it's going to definitely run you more than $9. And you do save $12. So I always do this. And then the week after, since I take this home every week, the week after, I will take scotch tape, scotch tape, scotch tape, and I will make a little pocket. And this pocket is for my coupons that week. So if I go to the store, I will have my coupons right there. And then what I do is I put the coupons that I don't use back here because, you know, sometimes the deal, if it's just because it's a deal doesn't mean it's a bargain. Just because it's a bargain doesn't mean it's a deal. So just because I can get something with a coupon doesn't mean I should. So sometimes I end up not using them. So I put those in the back coupon and then the ones that I use are in the middle coupon. And then this is my to-do list. These are my weekly appointments. And then this is me price matching and showing exactly how much I would have paid. This is meal planning. And this is this is more meal planning. And then this is, um, I think I had to send my brother some money. Yeah, I had to send my brother some money. And then those are the numbers. And, you know, here we go. Um, Evic. Those are the Evic specials. These are the sales at Harris Teeter. These are the sales at Foodland. These are the sales at Walmart. These are the sales at Aldi. So when I go to Walmart and I get a cucumber, I go into the register and I say, Aldi has cucumbers for 29 cents each this week. And they will believe me because even though I don't have a circular, which they say you have to have a circular, you don't, because they can see clearly I've done my work. I've done my research. I know what I'm talking about. They don't even question me as long as I come in with this little piece of paper. And then I've got my Tuesday or my Monday page. If you watch my home management binder cleaning, then you know what these are. This is, I print them out. I told you I printed them out. I print them out every week and then I fill in the stuff that I need to do that week that doesn't get done. Here's more price matching for the next week. And then there's more price matching. And then there we go. And more price match. Actually, this is how many coupons I had. This is so I know going in that I have two coupons for Pop-Tarts. So I want to get two things of Pop-Tarts. I have four things of Dannon. I have, you know, um, let's see, Febreze. I had one, two, three, four, five, six. I had 11 coupons for Febreze. And that day I got all Febreze items for $1. And I had coupons that were $1.50 off. So for every $1 Febreze item I made, Every for one, for all eleven Febreze items I got, I made uh, fifty cents off of each one. Every single one I made fifty cents off of it. So I definitely took advantage of that, and I have like a crazy amount of Febreze in my house right now. Um, and then this is a page of the actual planner. Now you can see the difference. See how it's like a different page, you know, a different color. But for the most part, it's these added pages. Like there's five pages of the planner, and then all of these added pages and then five pages of the planner and then all the added pages and then five pages of the planner and then this is from frugalferret.com this is more sales that were in my neighborhood things that I needed to know about um, and then, then there you go there's my next list there's my next week and then oh, this is just a nice little logo for my channel that I came up with you like that I drew that I don't know if I like it let me know in the comments if you like it or not I don't know if I like it or not um, and then this is just some songs I needed to download in my phone, and that's just a poem, and, you know, just various and sundry things. And then here's my list of, this is what I'm working on right now, that's why the pencil's in there. This is all my things I need to do, you know, not spoken word, although I am working on some spoken word stuff. This is actually things I need to do for school, for the girls for summer. Uh, where'd my summer page go? Wait, I think it's here. 
Where's my summer page? Oh, here it is. These are all the things that I need to do for the girls before summer. And today and tomorrow are the last day of summer. So let's see. I did this one, but I didn't get anywhere. I did this one, but I didn't get anywhere. Did this one and didn't get anywhere. Didn't do that one yet. Did that one, didn't get anywhere. Haven't done that one yet. Haven't done that one yet. And haven't done that one yet. So basically I spent three hours doing nothing and getting nowhere. Yay. Gotta love that. So there you go. That is my home management to go binder. And, you know, I will put um, Hannah's, some, some of Hannah's artwork in there. Just, you know, I, I, I love my girls. So I always like to remember them. And when things get tough and hard, I like to have, you know, funny things to look at. And when I'm, like, in a doctor's office and I'm all by myself and I don't have anything else to do, I like to be able to look through these. And, you know, she tells me stories about each one of them. Like, this is a whale. This was one of her first drawings, actually. It was a whale, and his name was Wally the Whale, and he got lost, and he was very scared, but then he found his mommy, and his mommy took him home, and he was fine. So I really like that story, and every time I look at this, it helps me remember, because my kids have autism, so they think in pictures, and this picture to her is, it's not just a whale. Like, most kids draw a whale, and you're like, oh, it's a whale, but this kid isn't just, it's, it's not just a whale to her. It's what the whale represents, which is that she feels safe, and she loves me, and that I do a good job with her, and that no matter how scared or overwhelming this whole autism thing is, she knows that if she comes and she finds me, that I will take her home and make everything okay. So, even though this is probably two and a half years, three years old. That's her right there. That's Miss Hannah Benianna right there. Um, even though this is two or three years old, I still keep it in my planner and I still look at it because it helps me to remember why I'm doing all of this that I'm doing. Because trust me, having your kids on a gluten casein free diet, extreme couponing, doing like cleaning and cooking and not having a maid and all of that, it's really hard. It is really hard. I mean, if somebody had told me three years ago when Hannah first got diagnosed and then six months later when Kylie got diagnosed and then a year later when Haley got diagnosed, if someone had come to me and said, it's going to be exhausting, like so exhausting, then I might have slept. But I, I, no one told me how exhausting it was going to be, you know, and how... Like, your kid gets diagnosed with autism, great, but nobody tells you, like, okay, well, in the moment, in this moment that your child gets diagnosed with autism, you are not only becoming an autism parent, you are becoming an advocate, you are becoming a warrior, you are becoming a doctor, you are becoming a nurse, you are becoming a research analysis, you are becoming an occupational therapist, you are becoming a speech therapist, you are becoming a food therapist. I mean, like, nobody tells you. That in that moment that you then have to become all of those things for your child because you do. It's not just as easy as saying my kid has autism. It's I, my kid has autism and I'm going to fight for her and I'm going to fight for her to have a place in this world. I'm going to fight for her to fit in. I'm going to fight for her to not get picked on and get bullied. And I'm going to fight for a cure and I'm going to fight for a reason. And I mean, that's part of it. So it's exhausting. I mean, like, really, really exhausting. I don't know if you can tell, but I noticed in one of the videos that I shot last night that I have these, like, really dark circles under my eyes. And normally I'm not a person who even cares about that, but I was like, dang, I need to get some sleep. So, you know, I just wanted to do this quick video on how I keep things going and how I keep things organized. And I'm going to do more videos because my kids are going to be home from school starting tomorrow. So I will do more videos on our routine and our schedule and how, you know, how I maintain that. But this is the instruction book that I carry with me everywhere I go. This is the instruction book that I have for how to keep your house clean and how to cook for your kids and how to love your kids and how to fit in time for you and how to fit in time for your friends and how to fit in time to clean your dang toilet. Because trust me, it's important to clean your toilet, even though it may seem like it's so low on the priority list. It's really not. Like, it's really not. So you got to be able to fit that time in. And it's hard. And, you know, when your kids first get diagnosed, one of the first things that the doctors tell you is, well, you got to learn to let those little things go, which you do. You really do because you're spending every minute at therapist doctor offices and you're spending every minute filling out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages of insurance paperwork. And you're spending hours and hours and hours and hours on the phone with insurance companies for hours every day 
two or three hours a day you're going to be spending on the phone with insurance companies and they're going to be asking you questions that you're not going to know the answer to. You're not even going to know what the heck they're asking you in the question. So then they're going to have to explain it and then it's going to take four hours and you do have to let those things go, but you can't let them go forever. Like that's the thing the doctors don't tell you when you get your kid diagnosed with autism is you're going to have to let your, you know, the dusting of the baseboards and the ceiling fans, you're going to have to let that go. And, and it's true. So your options are either to let that go forever and start a dust bunny colony, like zombie apocalypse colony on top of every f ceiling fan in your home. And I want to tell you, I, I, I don't call those dust bunnies. Those are called dust snakes. Because when you clean your ceiling fan, it comes off and it looks like a little snake and it'll fall down and it'll, like a little snake. So if you got dust snakes and dust bunnies in your house, you can't let that go. Because then if you've got kids with allergies, then you've got problems. So you have to either get a maid, which <laughs> if you've got kids with autism, you probably can't afford a maid. So then you got to learn how to do it. And it's hard and it's not easy. And oh, there's so many days where I just want to sit in there and watch... The Shield, or Revolution, or Weeds, or Dexter, or Chicago Fire, or Chicago PD, or any of those shows, I would rather watch them. I would even watch Real Housewives of New Jersey over having to clean my toilet. But, you gotta put on your big girl panties, and you gotta clean your toilet. So there you go. That's my video on my how I do it, how I keep it together, home management style. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.